All right, Shalom. First off, give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of GMS. Salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring, and truth and sincerity in the women and children who follow. So this uh, article is about the impending, the prophesied, which means said before, financial collapse is coming to Babylon, which is America. Okay, according to the scriptures. This article is from scmp.com. All right, it says, and it's the dated January 16th of this year. It says, look to U.S., not China, for the 2019 financial collapse or crisis. And here's why. It says, there's a lingering feeling that the global economy is due for another downturn as one tends to come, every, come along every five to seven years. But while the West points to China, it's the U.S. that has the most reason to worry. Something eerily similar to a subprime disaster is afoot. You know, and it shows, you know, the nigga woman there, you know, with her hand in her face, you know, looking at like, goddamn, you know, everything's fucked up. And that's how it's going to be. But worse, all right? The Great Depression was bad. You had other, you know, 2008, you know... 2000, uh, was it 2012? 2012, you know, there were some bad times. But this, this impending, like I said, this impending prophesied financial collapse is going to be biblical. It's mentioned in the Bible, so of course it's going to be biblical, but of biblical proportions. So it says, after a panic in the 2000, 2018 in the financial markets and a jittery start to the new year, an increased number of investors, analysts, and eco uh, economists are beginning to warn about the crisis of 2019 as often as not to be followed by the recession of 2020. Part of the reason is simply the feeling that the world is overdue for another downturn. A look at uh, economic history of recent decades shows that major financial crashes tend to come along every five to seven years. So, for example, there was the oil crisis of the 1970s and the Latin American debt crisis of, the, of 1982, the Black Monday stock market crash of 1987, and the tequila crisis of 1994, the Asian financial crisis of 97-98, the dot-com bust in 2000, and the worldwide recession that followed. The credit crunch and the global financial crisis of 2007-2008 and the European debt crisis that peaked in 2012. So, as you can see, we are full, we're in line with it. It's 2019. You know, it's about that time again. All right. Uh, seven, seven years on from the episode and more than 10 years later after the implosion of Lehman Brothers, financial markets have accumulated a whole new batch of uh, excesses that are ripe for correction, as well as some old ones that previous countries failed to correct. It says, uh, but although many of the financial world fear a new crisis is looming, there is little agreement about what will trigger the shakeup or where it will start. Lots of observers of the West point to China. They know how in just 10 years, uh, debt levels have soared from 150 percent of gross domestic product to more than 250 percent percent even as uh, economic growth has slowed eroding borrowers ability to serve their debt to service their debt others cast a weary eye towards Europe where it's likely Germany and Italy are already in a new recession and where the doom loop between rising Italian government bonds yields and weakening Italian bank capital is stronger than ever Threatening a whole new crisis is crisis of confidence in the eurozone uh, single currency. But although these concerns are real, the probability that the next financial cr uh, crisis will originate in either China or Europe is relatively low. That's because crises are not usually triggered by insolvency when liabilities exceed access. But because of uh, illiquidity, when institutions run out of ready cash. All right, it says in China where 
the state owns and controls the banking system. Officials officials have said it's like officials uh, have their hands on all the levels necessary to ensure plentiful supplies of liquid of liquidity in case of an emergency. And in the eurozone, the 2012 pledge by European Central Bank President Mario Draghi to do whatever it takes to preserve the single currency still stands. All right, it says, uh, faced with a new crisis in the EB- ECB, can once again open up the funding to a very disaster. That will not solve the euro's uh, deep-seated underlying problems, but will postpone a day of reckoning for the currency that may uh, that many believe will be inevitably without far-reaching structural reforms of Europe's economic governance. There's a lot of controversy going on about the the euro and what's going on with it. How uh, you know Britain left the European Union um, and other countries are trying to leave too. Yet countries that are weak uh, being held up by countries that are strong and people aren't liking it. So. It's a lot of controversy going on over there. It says, instead, it's more likely that the world's next big financial crash will originate in the United States. And while there will be uh, differences from the 2008 crisis, there will also be telling similarly uh, telling similarities. Um, history doesn't repeat, but it does rhyme. In the years before 2008, a protracted period of low interest rates Encourage banks to ramp up lending to risky borrowers and to repackage their loans and sell them to, sell them on to yield hungry investors. Back then, the risky borrowers were subprime home buyers. Um, this time around, they are American companies with benchmark interest rates close to zero for most of the decade. The U.S. companies have binged on debt. Many have borrowed. Uh, ever greater sums not to invest in productive assets like new factories, uh, but to buy a pack of their own shares. So juicing up their own their their stock prices and generating even bigger bonus packages for their executives. As a result, over the last ten years, the value of U.S. Uh, corporate bonds outstanding has tripled from about uh, two point five trillion to seven point five trillion, and that amount. Roughly forty-five cents, uh, roughly forty-five cents is rated triple B, which is one grade above junk. So, yeah, uh, America did have that triple A standing. Now it's a, down to a triple B. So, I mean, when you go to school and you know you get B's, you, that's acceptable for you. But in 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 the world, okay, you have like A plus, a uh, triple A plus. And you got like triple A minus, and then you got triple B plus, and now you got triple B. So really, a triple B is really like a D minus. You know when you're looking at it, you know. Um, it says uh, that's not all. Since 2008, since the 2008 crisis, there has also been a boom in so-called leveraged loans, loans to high-risk corporate corporate borrowers, with the market doubling in size. Uh, from 550 billion to around 1.1 trillion, and most of these loans have been repackaged and sold onto investors as uh, collateralized debt obligations, such as subprime mortgages, were repackaged and sold in the 2000s. So basically, they're doing the same thing that they were doing back then, except for back then they were giving people who couldn't afford homes homes. Now they're giving, they're making bad loans to businesses who were just using those funds. To make their pockets fatter, opposed to actually putting the money in the factories, building the factories up, and you know spreading the wealth. So basically, the market is going to correct itself. Okay, their tickets are going to come home to roost, so to speak. All right, the same thing that was going on back then is happening right now, and you know it's, it's going to manifest, and all that's going to lead. To, to Jacob's trouble and the chip eventually. You know, I'm going to get a couple of scriptures, you know. Uh, let me see. I'm, this is Habakkuk, the points in uh, 6. I'm going to start at, 
I'm gonna start at three though. It says, uh, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Okay. The vision is for an appointed time. The prophecies are gonna happen when they're supposed to happen, in order that they're supposed to happen. And though it seems like we're waiting for a while for America to, to collapse, for, for the chip to come, for the, the martial law and you know so on and so forth. We've been waiting for it. We've been speaking these things for years. It's going to come. We just got to keep waiting. It says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Okay? The so-called white men, these Edomites, all right, there's, there's not one that's righteous out here. No, not one. Okay? They're our enemies. They are our oppressors. Okay? And they're going to pay for everything that they did in our kingdom. And that the downfall of their kingdom. It says, Yea, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, neither he, neither keepeth at home. Because the U.S. Army is in everybody's country. All right? America is fucking failing, but you're in everybody else's country telling them what to do uh, with, with, with their resources, trying to steal their resources, putting your military in, in their lands, opposed to keeping at home and keeping what you got safe. Says who enlarges his de desire as hell, and is as death. All right, yeah. See, it's playing right there. It says enlarges his desire as hell. That's you taking over all these other countries, and is as death because when you go over there, you spread nothing but death. You shoot these people down. You're bombing them. Uh, Agent Orange, uh, uh, ICBM, not ICBM, but uh, atomic missiles being dropped on Japan, napalm, all these things that you're responsible for. Says and cannot be satisfied. There's, you just don't satisfy in America. You want more and more and more, more power, more lands, more resources, more everything. Says, but gather, but gather unto him all nations, and heap them, and heap unto him all people. Says, should not, the, should not all these take up a proverb against him and a totten proverb against him and say, woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. All right. Because, like I said, you raped and robbed and murdered the whole world. If you took what's not yours. The people aren't yours. The land is not yours. The resources is not yours. So you're gonna, you're gonna get that. You're gonna reap what you sow. It says, and how long? And him that laid himself with thick clay. All right, that thick clay represents the the uh, the debt that you have. You're selling debt, like you did back in 2008. The, the debt clock is at 20, 20, 21 trillion, you know, somewhere in that area. You can't come back for that. There's no bouncing back, all right? You can't keep owing money and owing money and owing money and owing money. The, the, the government is shut down. They open up the government for two weeks. And after that, that little, or two or three weeks, whatever it is, and after that opening, it's going right back to shutdown. So people, you know, they, they think that they can see, you know, the other side of the tunnel or the light at the end of the tunnel. It's about to stay dark, all right? The lights blinked and that was it. It was going back to dark. You best believe it, all right? And America's going down. It's about to be destroyed. All the, the, uh, the, 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 the financial geniuses and uh, the people who look, look at the stock market and all that, they said at the beginning of the article that, they believe America is about to have a big collapse. They believe it. How come you can't believe it? Because you don't want to believe it. The, the scriptures say it. The men of the Lord say it. So, I mean, it's about to come to pass whether you want it to or not. But with that being said, call law. That's all praise to you. How about Shem Yashai? Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the GMS. Salute and honor to the elect. All the brothers across the four corners who are enduring. And truth and sincerity in the women and children who follow. Shalom.